Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Gamester81. We're going to go old school today and we're going to focus on a really interesting game released only for the Intellivision. Uh, it came out uh, around 1985-ish. Not quite sure on the date this game was released to be honest with you. It's called Diner. It came for, out only for the Intellivision. If you guys are familiar with uh, Burger Time, which I actually own Burger Time for the arcade. Here's some, some gameplay here. Um, and it's not, it came out in 1982 by Data East. And Burger Time, a lot of you guys know, has been ported to a lot of computers, a lot of systems. Nintendo Entertainment System had a port to it. It's a great classic game. Now, there were a couple arcade sequels. There was a game called uh, Peter Pepper, who is actually the main character. Peter Pepper Ice Cream Factory, which is, uh, was, wasn't really widely re uh, released. There's also another game sequel uh, later on Data East made. It was called uh, Super Burger Time, which I own that on my arcade as well. And it's essentially plays very similar. You've got to hop on the patties and buns and stuff like that. Uh, and you actually jump, and it's basically Peter Pepper Jr. It's a time twister. Peter Pepper. Say that three times fast. But uh, anyway, um, so it, it, it's updated graphics and everything. But this diner here is very interesting. Uh, let's take a closer look at this game and some of the gameplay footage, shall we? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Okay, so this is Diner for the Intellivision. Uh, came out after 1984. It's really not all I know about it. You guys might know, and if you guys do, let me know. But uh, the reason I know that is because this is made by a company called INTV Corp. Uh, essentially, INTV Corp uh, purchased uh, the rights for the Intellivision, the systems, and all the games from Mattel back in 1984 after the video game crash of 83. As most of you guys know, 1983 was a really bad year for video games, and there's just so much of a plethora of horrible systems and games uh, available that they just people to stop buying stuff. So a lot of the comes went under, but INTV made systems and carried the Intellivision for quite a while. Uh, this is a really fun game. It was defined, uh, designed by the same guy who designed the original Burger Time, Burger Time game, Ray Keisner. Uh, and it's very similar. It's different, though. I mean, you got the pepper, as you can see here. And, and the object is you got these, I don't know if they're cabbages or what, what they are, but you're supposed to kick them into the very bottom pit and kind of click it all together. And there it is. It just did that. Now, uh, it does star uh, Peter Pepper, who was in the original one. Now, the music is slightly different. But it's very similar as well, and it's got a really cool 3D feel to it, kind of like Zaxxon or Congo Bongo. A lot of games did that back in the day. There are new enemies. You got the sausage from the original one. Uh, you got I don't know if that's like a milk glass of milk or something. Um, but the stages do get progressively harder, and where you kick the cabbage is really random as far as where it falls. Uh, the only way to really kick kill the enemies is really to, to just kind of plow them over by kicking the. The, the cabbage, or, or I don't know what exactly, like I said before, I don't know what that is. But uh, you do have a limited number of sh salt shakes, and that, that number is on the top right there. I only have one left. Uh, five is how many guys I have, which you start with a lot of guys. And of course, my top, my score is the top there. And the lower right is my stage number. Here's stage three. The hardest thing about this game is you get into a corner and it gets very hard, especially for outer salt. See, I'm stuck in a corner here and uh, I died. So, um, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's really cool control. I really like the Intellivision uh, controller, analog controller. Uh, it comes with the system, so it really handles really nicely, plays really good. Um, you know, this game does pop up on, on auction sites every once in a while, but uh, it's a really fun game. I really enjoy it. Kind of took me a while to figure out where to go and all that good stuff. But now the enemies, if you do knock them over, they do pop up and appear randomly. Uh, Ray. Now I just noticed that it says Ray is right there. That flight. That's the programmer who programmed this game is named Ray. So uh, coincidence? I don't think so. Now you can walk around the guys, which is cool. But yeah, they're pretty random as far as where they walk. This game was never ported to any other system. And it was never in the arcades. Uh, see, and then they pop up randomly. See, <laughs> time I can turn, and they pop up, I got killed. Good thing you do start with uh, you do start with a lot of lives. There are, there are no continues in this game, though. Not sure how many um, levels there are in this game. I've gotten to about level eight, I believe.
I just, I don't know, it's really random where those things go. Or... Did I get to it in time? No. Stage four. This stage is really hard because they got the, the floors open and closed and it's really random. And if you walk over the, those pits, you obviously die. So. Anyway, you guys can kind of get the idea of this game. It's a really fun retro game to play. If you do have an Intellivision, I definitely recommend checking it out. I'm, I'm not sure if this is available on emulator or not, to be honest with you. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, uh, take it easy. Happy gaming. Bye-bye.